Tim Johnson, I'm a six-time national champion, uh, cyclocross, road racer, mountain biker, commuter, whatever kind of biker, I do it all, at least a little bit. I've been racing cyclocross for almost 20 years now. The thing with cross that's different is that the intensity is so high, so it's one hour, absolutely full gas the whole time. You have to have skills, you have to be able to get on and off your bike, you have to be able to carry your bike, you have to be able to run with your bike, and all at the same time you have to be able to think. For me, this race is really not about the results. It's about just kind of going out there and, and having a race that I can be proud of no matter what it is. As a VW sponsored athlete, I thought it'd be kind of cool to try out this Smile Drive app that, uh, that they told me about. You know, it's gonna be driving back and forth to the race and see what we can do with it. It's my hometown race, but kind of nice to show off where I live. We're gonna go ahead and start a drive. Boom. Uh, I live in Topsfield, Massachusetts. It's a great little town with a ton of people that ride bikes and, and being a pro cyclist here is definitely something that I, I couldn't have dreamed of growing up. Great cycling community. When I first started, I'd see people riding. I'd, I'd go to a local race and I'd recognize people from the area. You know, I've lived in big cities and I lived in foreign countries and to be able to live at home and race my bike is just, I don't know, I can't really think of much else better than that. Going into this weekend, it's huge. Lots of the guys in the top 10 of the world ranking are here. You know, and as a racer, anytime you race against the best, definitely brings out the best in you. I'm racing in front of the people that I've known my entire career. It's just that it's the atmosphere of the race and no matter what happens, they just want to see it. One of the most fun parts about racing cross is that you can just hang it out. You can, you're riding a bike that's not meant to be doing what you're doing. It's, you have your stomach in your throat a lot of the time. It's what you see reflected back to you from the fans. I mean, coming across the finish line and having all those people scream and yell and be pumped about having seen the, the battle play out and then, you know, whatever position I got, it didn't really matter. That's like, you know, it's really unique and it makes me feel fortunate to be able to ride a bike. It just makes for this atmosphere of, of people that are in the race and out of the race and they all kind of share the same thing. The way I got in the sport was I went to a BMX demo in a mall parking lot when I was like 11. I had the poster that I got that day signed by those guys on my wall for like five years when I was a kid. If any kid is kind of looking, he's kind of standing off in the side, I want him to feel good about being interested in this. We share something. He rides a bike and I ride a bike and, and it, there's really no difference between us at all.
I've been racing for a long time and, and I think about when I won't be racing and I know that that horizon is coming close. Um, I think I'll identify as a cyclist for my entire life. Finally made it back home. I'm gonna uh, end the drive and I'll wait for my drive summary. Boom, killing that last drive. Yeah, that is my engine purring. Thank you very much. It's cool to be able to race like this at home, drive, not fly, spend some time with my friends, my family, and uh, bike racing still hurts no matter what, but having a good time. 32 minutes, 21 miles, all the way home.